This is round seven of Blackstone Fortress. All right, I have shuffled the initiative die as much as I could. I'll put it down and forget about it and just trust that I've shuffled it, which I never do. I always feel like I'm cheating with the initiative deck because there's just not that many cards there. We're doing really well. I think the ghouls, honestly, are just so hard that some combat against some drones, it doesn't feel that bad. So here's uh, Janus, here's Pius way up here, here's Taddeus, here's uh, Amelin over here. So they're all doing fairly well. Some of them are kind of down, down uh, for the count in terms of their actual activation die, but they're all in action. The threat level has advanced through a mis uh, an unfortunate roll, uh, action roll for the, one of the drones. The threat level has advanced to one, which means that these drones now attack with D8 instead of D6. But other than that, it feels pretty good. We've gotten two discovery cards, one Archaeotech and one Clue card, and I feel like we're probably going to get another one pretty soon. As soon as Janus takes out this drone, which I'm hoping is ha going to happen very soon. But first, I have to roll the discovery, or not the discovery, the, um, what is it called? Destiny die. Ignoring the duplicates, there's two threes back there, so those are worthless. But I have a two, four, and a six. So that's really good. I, I, I like getting a good mix like that. I mean, obviously I like a six. But even the two, you know, I mean, sometimes you just want something that doesn't feel... You don't feel bad about using it for something stupid, <laughs> because it's just a two. Uh, okay, so Amelin. Four and a four. That's not bad for her. I think a four... I think four is her threshold for one of her... Yeah, for her long rifle attack. So that's actually fine. This one's for Pius. Oh, six and a two. That's great. I mean, I don't, I don't actually know if Pius is doing anything right now. Six is never bad. Here's Taddeus. One, five, six. Okay, that's great. Again, I would love for him to get to Pius's square and heal them both. And here's Janus. Five, five, four, four. Cool. Boy, am I glad you don't ignore doubles on, like, normal activation rolls. That would really not be great. We got that squared away. We got activation die figured out. Janus goes first. Oh, that's exciting, because I kind of kind of wanted that to be the case, because um, I'm really just kind of eager to get this guy, this drone, out of the way. So last time I was really frustrated with how the die were working out, and I ended up wasting all of my turns. So this time I'm not going to do that. I'm going to spend this measly destiny die, the two... No, I should save that for the, the people who need it. So he's going to spend a four to move. One stupid hex, which I really, really hate. I feel horrible about that, but I'm assuming that this is all part of the grand design and that I should feel bad about it, and then spend a six on my flurry of attacks. When I spend a six on a flurry of attacks, I get to do three attacks. So he's going to attack this drone with his rapier, which actually isn't, I don't actually think that's a rapier. That looks too thick to be a rapier. But anyway, apparently he's got a rapier, maybe in the 41st millennia. The terminology has changed a little bit. So he's got one. So he's got... That's a D8. So he'll roll three D8. Now I only have two of the special D8s that came with the box. So I'll just roll two and then one. Let's see if you can see that. Uh, there's a one a hit and a critical. So, I mean, he really only needed one because this guy has a uh, injury token, a wound token. So he only needed one, but he's decimated this this little drone. Absolutely. All right, so that's done. What was that? He spent a four to move and then a... F uh, wait a minute, what did he spend? Did I have him spend a six for three attacks? I did, and that wouldn't have, that wouldn't have worked because he doesn't have a six. But that's fine because I only rolled two dice, as you could see. So I will spend a five because the five would have triggered two attacks, so that that's okay. Uh, and now he's going to m spend another die 
his four, this is so stupid, for one more move. And then he's going to spend his five to draw from the Discovery deck. Discovery deck is here. I just feel like this is such a good round for Discovery deck. We've gotten two in the previous video, two or three, and one now. So this is yet more Archaeotech. Archaeotech. That's um, kind of to be expected. It's worth one. Archaeotech is good. We can spend that. That's currency, basically, uh, once we get to Precipice. So that's a good thing to have. So he killed something that was worth two wounds. So he needs to roll a two or a one on a blackstone die, and he'll get inspiration. But he rolls a ten instead. Now we move on in initiative to Pius Vorn. Interesting. All right, so Pius Vorn has all of two die left, but she moves at the rate of three. So she could... We could just have her move toward a portal, which, can you see it here? Yeah, you can. Way over here is one of the portals where you can summon a maglev chamber. So she could use the two to do that. One, two, three. So she's right next to it now, which is exactly where you need to be, which I think, again, I think that's where you should need to be to do a discover a search, you know? I don't think you should have to be on... I should look at that. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm misremembering the rule. Okay, anyway, so now she'll spend her six to, um, to summon a maglev chamber. So I'll remove this and put it where the maglev chamber used to be. And then I'll summon this maglev chamber there. So there's that. that's the maglev chamber. Now she can't get into it. But if I spend a two destiny die, she could just step right into it, which I'll do. One. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just keep her here. Just in. No, actually, she can go. Yeah, I'll keep her here. Oh, she's got a flamethrower, though. Yeah, okay, I'll keep her there. I just, you know, I mean, it's. I don't want to take her out of the combat yet, you know? Like, if, if, if a bunch of drones show up as reinforcements, I want her to have the opportunity to burn them alive. Uh, as it were, drones aren't alive. Two. Uh, okay, so this is the confusing thing. There is no two. I mean, there was a two up here, but there are. Th but they explored. They did a search action, Pius did. And she got, she got a Discover card, and then it, it, the rules say to remove the token from the board doesn't say to remove the token or, you know, the card from the deck, the initiative deck. This, this is confusing to me. I don't know whether that means... I don't know what the intent there is. But because it didn't say to remove the thing from the deck, I'm going to assume that the intention is that the deck still exists and we're going to roll for reinforcements. 18. Uh, I think that's what I rolled last time. Uh, so, no, I didn't. Did I? Maybe. I don't know. Either way, 18 is over 4, and so no reinforcements show up. Oh, wait. Janus got Archaeotech from here, so actually token number 1 is gone from the board as well. So that was Pius's turn. No, that was 2. That was the hostile 2 turn. This is Taddeus. Taddeus has 3 dice, 1, 6, 5. Uh, so he'll, and he only has a 2 movement speed, so he'll spend 1 to move. Two, he'll spend a f five, a four from the destiny to move one, two, and then a five, one, two. And then he still has a six left over. Oh, I guess he didn't have to spend that destiny die, did he? I mean, at this stage, I, I guess a lot of people aren't going to need... Okay, so I'm I'm cheating. I'm saying I'm pretending like he didn't spend the destiny die, and he's spending his own six to get further. Oh wait, no, because he could heal with his six. Never mind. I'm not cheating, except I am cheating because I've cheated so much now that it just feels really bad. But oh well. Um, so he's got a six left over. He's on the square with Pius Vorn, which means he can do his special rallying cry action. His rallying cry action 
is a 6 up, you remove one wound counter from Tadius and all other explorers on the same square on the same hex. So that's one from Pius and one from himself. So he's at full strength now and she's just got the one grievous wound. So that actually finally in the end worked out really really well. Next up is group 1, which again it's weird because they don't have a counter on the board anymore and it feels kind of like they're not really in the game. So anyway, I'm rolling a d20. They roll a 9. So that's not reinforceable. There's still no no drones. The last card in the deck must be Amelin. She's only got the t two die. Yeah, she does. So, but she does have a move speed of three, and she's got this destiny die, which, frankly, she—I mean, if she doesn't use it, nobody's using it. So, she's got a four-four and a six. So she'll just move one. Ah, how, how? What's the shortest avenue? It would have to be up here, right? Yeah. So one, two, three. So that was one of her fours, and then we'll spend another one of her fours for another three. One, two, three, and then a six. One, two, three. She cannot land on their square. So I think she lands right in front of the maglev chamber, which is vaguely annoying, but not, not super annoying. I'm not too, too bothered about it. So I think that's everything for all the hostels and all the explorers, so the only thing left to do now is to roll a Blackstone event. That is a 14. Look at the event table here. Escape chamber. The leader replaces the portal furthest from any explorers with a maglev transport escape chamber. If more than one portal is equally far from explorers, the leader can pick. If the event has already been rolled, or if an explorer has used a summon action, there is no effect. And Pius has used a summon action to get the maglev chamber over here, so there's no effect. That would have been a really nice effect, though, because that saves you a summon uh, action. But um, that's not how it played out. Things, things were just a little bit offset. But I will take no event, as I've often said. No event is better than an event in a Blackstone Fortress. So that's, uh, that's everything. I think all, all things sort of staying more or less the same, I think that the next round will finish off this combat, which is a good feeling. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.